The Arbiter's first mission is recreated from his introductory game, as he charges in to stop the Heretex and its leader. But who has the upper hand? From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the Arbiter's Quest. Man, out in my area, releases have not been too kind as of lately with Halo sets. I'm not gonna lie, but this is a set I needed to have for my Banshee collection. This is based on the Halo 2 campaign and features a Banshee that can be converted as a 2-in-1 build. Or more like a recolor. The set includes three cookies and cream base plates, a carbine in purple, two plasma rifles in purple, and a scattered energy sword in transparent blue. The Arbiter design from Halo 2 and 3 have been used multiple times, but this version really looks good. I can't say it's the best since I missed out on a lot, but there's a clever trick of using a dark wash intended to shadow against the lines to make them pop. Makes the carbine look out of place. Not only did they add more to the chest, but thanks to this, the Silver seems darker, so it feels custom made. It's better than the wash on the Helio screw. Modern articulation, triple leg motion, dark gray under the silver armor, and light skin for the head. Sese Refumi also makes an appearance, which some weren't happy about with his previous versions. This doesn't seem like a total upgrade, but with the context of the mission, he needed to be here. I do like the boosters that wrap around the back piece. I want to like the head strap, but the hose hardly stays in on mine. Modern articulation, dark gray under the cherry red armor, some blue dots and orange on the torso, faded purple back with green details, silver in the shoulders, orange eyes, and a light skin tone for the head. There's also a wicked heretic elite follower. I mean, it's just Sessa and gold, but I'm not complaining. Except it would be nice to have more of them and an altered backpack. Modern articulation, gray under the gold armor, blue dots, green vents, silver in the shoulders, painted eyes, and a light skin tone for the head. There's also a bonus barrier setup in gold and silver using spare parts that'll be relevant later. I like the shape, but I gotta be honest, all I'm seeing is the face of the villain from that Robots movie. I thought this was a nice recreation of the Covenant Banshee, as its build has evolved over time. Until I found out, this has little changes over the anniversary version. They add some gunners, swapped out a few parts, and the colors changed, especially the cockpit, from blue to metallic reddish purple. But aside from that, the body, wings, the back bits, even the clear rod and stand are pretty much the same, which I don't mind since I thought that version could benefit from a single release if people wanted to army build that vehicle. The deep colors feel more in line with the games, but I like the silver additions. The wings can adjust, but they have a stopping point to know Know where they should be. There's a clip on the back if someone attacks, and the entire cockpit can lift up. There is enough room for the Arbiter with handles and a console inside, though I did notice the cockpit can shift slightly to the side by accident. There's the printed tile gunners, but for more action, there's firing projectiles inside. It holds two, but there's a total of six included. But what's this? It looks like a canoe filled with parts. Well, with this, the barrier is actually a disguise, and it's really extra parts. I do like that it's given a build rather than completely thrown to the side, but you can use all this on the Banshee. The instructions show to rebuild it from scratch, starting with the original first step, but you don't need to do that. Let's just start up the montage! Cue the music and let's go! Oh. You know, I was worried it would just look scrappy, just slapping other colors while the purple's still there, like a builder ran out of a color of pieces, but this actually looks nice with purple as the accent color. And looking up the game model, the idea's actually there. I love the alternate silver paint on the cockpit, the change on the turbines from purple to silver, but with the backpacks, no heretic can pilot it. Also, since you're just swapping colors, you might as well build the barrier in purple, because why not? It's up to you. Both builds are a nice setup. I like the heretic version for being something different, but I love the purple for being traditional and iconic. Either way is a win, and the figures are really nice. This is a welcome inclusion and a good follow-up from the Banshee family.